let us continue the problems on normal distribution okay we consider a problem given the data given us the weekly wages of 1000 workmen are normally distributed around a mean of rupees 70 and standard deviation rupees 5 Estimate the number of workers between rupees seventy and rupees seventy-two. Then more than rupees seventy-five, less than rupees sixty-three. And we have to estimate the lowest weekly wages of hundred highest paid workers. Okay. So we move on to the solution. That is, we assume x as the weekly wages. x as the weekly wages so it is given that x follows normal with mean equal to mu equal to 70 standard deviation sigma equal to 5 so that we have to obtain the corresponding standard normal using the transformation z equal to x minus mu by sigma So that equal to x minus seventy by five follows n zero one. Okay. Now, in order to estimate the number of workers between the certain ranges, firstly we have to obtain those probabilities. That is, first uh, part is we require to find. Require to find for the first part it is probability. Uh, what is it? Probability seventy less than x less than seventy two. Okay. And for the second part, it is probability x greater than seventy five. And for the third part, it is probability what is it? X less than sixty three. Probability x less than sixty three. And the last question is estimate the lowest weekly wages of hundred highest paid workers. So that there are hundred highest paid workers, and we want the minimum of their weekly wages. So let us suppose x one. Let x one be the lowest weekly wages. Be the lowest weekly wages. Okay, so that find the x one such that that is find the x one such that what about probability x greater than x one equal to hundred by thousand equal to point zero one. This is the last part. Okay, we can obtain the solution one by one so that we have the transformation z equal to x minus m by sigma. And equal to x minus seventy by five, which follows n zero one. Okay, n zero one, which is the standard normal distribution. The process is called the standardization, and this has mean equal to zero and standard deviation equal to one. Firstly, we find these probabilities. Now we multiply all these probabilities with thousand. Okay, in order to obtain the number of workers, so that. We can proceed one by one. Now, first part is probability seventy less than x less than seventy two. Probability seventy less than x less than seventy two. So the corresponding standard normal becomes probability seventy minus. Seventy minus seventy by five less than is it less than seventy two minus seventy by five? That is equal to probability zero less than is it less than? What is the value? It is two by five. Two by five is zero point four. Probability zero less than is it less than zero point four? So that we. represent the area on the graph okay the standard normal is a matrix at z equal to 0 and here it is 0.4 so that 
this is the required area okay this is the required area which we can directly obtain from the traverse and it is the value corresponding to what is the value it is the value corresponding to the 0.4 row and 0 column and hence it is equal to so that this is equal to 0.1554 Okay, this is the probability between 70 less than x less than 72. It is equal to 0 0.1554 and this is the required area. And hence, we get the required number of workers as equal to simply we multiply this with 1000. 1000 into 0 0.1554 it is equal to 155.4 so approximately equal to 155 the number of workers between wages 70 and 72 it is equal to 155 okay now we move on to the second part the questioners the question is probability x greater than 75. Probability x greater than 75. Okay. So that equal to probability z greater than 75 minus 70 by 5. That is 5 by 5 is 1. Probability equal to probability z greater than 1. So that we consider the picture standard normal curve and this is symmetric at z i am drawing a rough figure okay z equal to 0 so here we mark the point 1 and uh, we require the area z greater than 1 this is the required area z greater than 1 isn't it z greater than 1 means from 1 up to infinity that is we get we want probability 1 less than z less than infinity and we have already discussed with that the table of standard normal distribution gives the area between 0 to any z and as we know this normal distribution standard normal is symmetric at zero, z equal to 0. The area to the left of 0 that is probability z less than 0 equal to may be written as z less than or equal to 0. Equal to probability z greater than or equal to 0 equal to 1 by 2 that is this half is 1 by 2 or 0.5. So that probability uh, z greater than 1 can be written as 0.5 minus probability 0 to 1. Okay. So that we write this as that is equal to 0. Let me write. That is this is equal to probability z greater than 1. So equal to 0 0.5 minus probability 0 less than z less than 1. 0 0.5 minus probability 0 less than z less than 1. Let me explain once again. Uh, I have already probability z less than or equal to 0 equal to probability z greater than or equal to 0 equal to 1 by 2. As the standard normal distribution is symmetric, I said equal to 0. And hence, uh, this area is 0.5. And we require the area probability z greater than 1. This is the area, required area. So that it is obtained by 0.5 minus probability 0 to 1. Okay. And this value probability 0 less than z less than 1 is obtained using the turbos. And it is the value corresponding to, we have to consider the PG area under standard normal curve. Okay. And the, uh, it is the value corresponding to the row 1.0 and the column 0 and hence it is 0 0.3413. That is equal to 0 0.5 minus 0 0.3413 and it is equal to 0 0.1587. Let me check. Point five minus point three four one three. 
सो इक्वल टू पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव एट सेवन ओके देर फोर द रिक्वायर्ड नंबर ऑफ वर्कर्स रिक्वायर्ड नंबर ऑफ वर्कर्स इक्वल टू थाउजेंड इनटू पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव एट सेवन so equal to 158.7 which is approximately equal to 159 as the number of workers having wages more than 75 okay now we consider the next part and uh, firstly we require to find the probability x less than 63 probability x less than 63 so that it is equal to Part three is probability x less than sixty three. That is equal to probability z less than sixty three minus seventy by five. Okay, sixty three minus seventy by five. That is equal to sixty three minus seventy seventy. Divided by five, so equal to minus one point four. That is equal to probability z less than minus one point four. Okay, so that we consider the standard normal curve, and we have the distribution is symmetric at set d equal to zero, and here it is minus one point four somewhere here. Okay, minus one point four. And we require the area set to less than minus one point four. That is from minus one point four up. Uh, sorry, from minus infinity up to minus one point four. That is, this is the required area. And thus, as this distribution is symmetric at set d equal to zero, corresponding to uh, this area on the right side is z greater than one point four. Let me represent it. That is, we have. Okay, this is one point four, and hence the sus. Uh, z greater than one point four. We require the this area that is equal to probability z greater than one point four as z is the metric or z equal to zero. So uh, which can be obtained by and we know now we know very much or clearly that this half is point five and this area can be equal to point five minus probability zero less than is z less than one point four. Okay, so that zero point five minus probability zero less than is z less than one point four. Okay, and hence it is equal to. Point five minus, so that this is equal to point five minus from zero to one point four. It is the value corresponding to one point four zero and zero column, and hence it is point four one nine two. That is zero point four one nine two. Okay, and hence it is equal to point five minus point five minus point. Four one nine two. The value is point zero eight zero eight point zero eight zero eight. This is the probability. Therefore, required number of workers, okay, having wages less than sixty three is thousand into zero point zero eight zero eight equal to eighty point eight. That is what is it? Eighty point eight is approximately eighty one. Okay, approximately eighty one as the number of workers having wages less than eight uh, less than sixty three. Okay, now we consider the last part. Already explained that what is that? The problem is we want to require the lowest weekly wages of hundred highest paid workers. So that we assume x one as the lowest value, and hence we require x one such that probability x greater than x one equal to point one. Fourth part required to find. Already I have explained so that required to find x one such that okay 
probability x greater than x1 equal to what is it? 100 by 1000 is 0 0.1. So that the corresponding standard normal is probability that is probability z greater than x1 minus 70 by 5 equal to 0 0.1. Again we consider the standard normal curve and uh, as already pointed out this is a metric at z equal to 0 so that probability z less than or equal to 0 equal to probability z greater than or equal to 0 equal to 1 by 2 that is 0.5 ok so that uh, this area what about this area probability z greater than x1 minus 70 by 5 that is from this point up to infinity is 0 0.1. So that uh, the set probability we have probability z greater than or equal to 0 is 0 0.5. And hence probability z greater than or equal to any value which is equal to 0 0.1 less than 0 0.5 implies this value corresponds to somewhere here in the positive axis. Okay, as this area that is from that point to infinity is 0 0.1. So, let me mark it as some work here. So, that this is the area 0 0.1. So, let us consider it as some plus edge 1, plus edge 1. That is, let us write, let, what is it? x1 minus 70 by 5 equal to plus z1. That is, we have probability z greater than z1 equal to 0 0.1. Okay, this is the required, a this is the given area. And we require to find this z1. Okay, that means, therefore, probability 0 less than z less than z1. This area becomes 0.5 minus 0.1. 0 0.5 minus 0 0.1 equal to 0 0.4. Okay. And hence Z1 becomes, uh, what is it? Z1 as ordinate at 0 0.4. Ordinate at Z is 0 0.4. That is, here the area or probability is 0 0.4. Okay. So that it corresponds to 1.29 from here. This is the point for this is the area or probability 0 0.4015 exactly. And it is corresponding to 1.29. Okay. That is from turbo z1 equal to ordinate at point 0 0.04. Oh sorry, point 0.4. So equal to 1.29. Okay, from tables not exactly the value is 0.4, it is 0 0.4015 and let us take it as 1.29. So then what about that is we have, we have obtained Z1, that is what is Z1? Z1 as X1 minus 70 by 5. Okay, that is Z1 equal to That is Z1 equal to X1 minus 70 by 5 equal to 1.29 which implies X1 equal to 1.29 into 5 plus 70. Okay, 1.29 into 5 plus 70, 1.29 into 5 plus 70. So, it is equal to 76.45. That is equal to 76.45 rupees. That is, that is the required lowest weekly wages equal to required lowest weekly wages equal to 76.45 rupees. Okay. Okay, so that uh, for any probability of x, we transform it to standard normal turbul, standard normal curve, standard normal distribution, and hence we can obtain these probabilities. Now, all, uh, now we multiply all these values with a thousand in order to get the required number of uh, persons. Okay, thank you very much.